Brewers hosting the Cubs, and both of these teams right now are minus 108 on the money line. The over-under I have at 8.5 runs, or 9, just depends upon your casino, shop around. The Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are now plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by 2. And the Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by 1, you win. Last night when I was writing down the odds, the Brewers were the favorite. So interesting to see all the money coming in on the Cubs. Smiley pitched twice against the Brewers last year. Three innings, no runs, no earn. They lost that game 3-1. to one. He struck out three. Six innings, no runs, no earn. They lost that game 7-0 seven, seven in Milwaukee. He struck out two. The Cubs are 5-5 five and five in his last 10. He's averaging five innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games. Tehran did not pitch against the Cubs either last year or this year. The Brewers are 2-5 and five in his last seven appearances. They've lost his last two. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 3.6 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The road team is on a two-game winning streak. The Brewers are on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 5-4-1. And the under 8.5 runs is 6-4 in their last 10. Same thing goes for the under 9. And the wind is blowing in towards the hole between 1st and 2nd base at 8.1 miles per hour. The last series that they played against each other was a 3-game set in Chicago, and Milwaukee took 2 out of 3. The Cubs won the first game 4-0. The Brewers won the next two 3-1 and 9-5. The Cubs are 4-6 and six in their last 10, and they are 1-6. Two, four, one and six in their last seven games. The under is five, four, and one in their last ten games. There's been four runs total, eleven runs, six runs, and fourteen runs. One run and a loss, ten runs and a win, shut out and a loss, six runs and a loss. For the Brewers, they've won their last two games. They're four and one in their last five, and seven and three in their last ten. The over has hit in their last three games, and the over is 5, 4, and 1 in their last 10 games. There's been a total of 5 runs, 15 runs, 19 runs, and 9 runs in their last 4 games. 3 runs and a win, 7 runs and a loss, 11 runs and a win, 6 runs and a win. Smiley did not pitch well against the Brewers last year. I know last year was last year and this year is this year, but... I'm going to go out on a limb here and take the home underdog. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I'm going to take the Brewers getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.